Hi everyone, welcome to RP Resonance Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on organometallic chemistry, lecture number three. In this lecture, I am going to discuss it about um, like uh, 18 electron rule, some examples. Okay, so I'll solve the like uh, 15 examples uh, which is regarding to the 18 electron rule calculation. Okay, so now 18 electron rule, if any complex, uh, it obeys the 18 electron rule that is the stable compound, that is the stable organometallic compound. If it does not obey the 18 electron rule, that is unstable one, that is unstable one. So based on the 18 electron rule, we can predict the stability, whether it is a stable or unstable. Okay, now we know that uh, 18 electron calculation method is two types, one is a neutral method, another one is the oxidation method. Now I'll, I'll solve the, some of the problems in both the methods. Uh, for uh, like for sake of simplicity after that I'll go with uh, the better method okay now let's move on to the first problem so that is the like a uh, chromium CO6 times so this is the first one so before going to the 18 electron rule calculation now we need a uh, like a uh, electron count method okay so in previous video I had uploaded the previous video based on the like electron count in ligands but we don't know the like uh, valency electrons in uh, d metals d transition metals simply now i'll give the very simple examples regarding to the transition metals so now we know that um, scandium titanium vanadium like uh, chromium manganese iron cobalt nickel copper zinc okay these are the first row transitional elements okay so scandium yttrium lanthanum okay now titanium zirconium hafnium these are the triads okay titanium zirconium hafnium is the triads vanadium niobium tantalum now chromium molybdenum tungsten like manganese technetium rhenium okay now iron ruthenium osmium cobalt rhodium iridium nickel palladium platinum copper silver gold zinc cadmium mercury so very simple one okay scandium lithium lanthanum titanium zirconium hafnium vanadium niobium tantalum chromium molybdenum tungsten so manganese technetium rhenium okay so now iron <laughs> ruthenium osmium cobalt rhodium iridium like uh, nickel palladium platinum copper silver uh, gold then finally zinc cadmium mercury zinc cadmium mercury now based on these are the like a transitional a transitional metal elements now these configurations like this okay now outermost valence electronic configuration yes to the first electron which is entering into the d orbital that is the uh, like d transitional metal elements yes to d1 so here s2 d2 here s2 d3 here s2 d4 originally it is s2 d4 but uh, it is a lack of only one electron for getting the more stable off field configuration that's why so that that one electron uh, like taken from the s orbital and it fills as s1 d5 s1 d5 now here s2 d like s2 d5 s2 d6 s2 d7 s2 d8 here s2 d9 so this is the like a general configuration but originally so one electron taken from the s orbital and it uh, it gets a filled configuration s1 d10 now here s2 d10 so this is the outermost uh, valence electronic configuration outermost valence electronic configuration based on these outermost valence electronic configuration if manganese is there we will take the s2 d5 that is the seven electrons okay so if cobalt is there s2 d7 nine electrons if iron is there s2 d6 eight electrons so the series of uh, iron like iron ruthenium osmium ma uh, manganese technetium rhenium like nickel palladium platinum so if all the series was taken by the like a similar number of uh, outermost electrons uh, 2 8 10 for the nickel palladium platinum so 11 for the copper silver gold okay now manganese technetium rhenium 7 so chromium molybdenum tungsten 6 outermost electrons so this is the simplest uh, uh, electron count for the transitional metal elements transitional metal elements so here it is the uh, general electronic count method general electronic count method now let's move on to the first example so chromium okay now we know that uh, the calculation of ligands as well as the transition metals so then uh, why are we waiting for that uh, calculation now let's move on to the like first problem that is nothing but a uh, chromium co6 times co6 times so here let's uh, move on to the first of all neutral method neutral method so neutral method means a uh, chromium so the outermost electronic configuration is a uh, s1 d5 s1 d5 that is a uh, six electrons okay now like a carbonyl ligand so the carbonyl ligand is a two electron donor so six carbonyl ligands are there six to 12 electrons totally 
18 electron it follows 18 electron so first one it having the like 18 electron rule it follows the 18 electron rule so here it is the like a neutral complex so the carbonyl compound is a neutral complex so the neutral uh, complex it shown like both the methods are similar like uh, either it go through the neutral method or oxidation method it it will it it will similar one okay so it gives the similar result as well as the similar pathway that's why i don't want to go for the like oxidation method of the first example now let's move on to the second example so that is the ch3 methyl manganese CO five times. So this is the second example. So now this example was uh, calculated in both the methods. Okay. Now first one is neutral method. Neutral method. Okay. So according to the neutral method, uh, like a manganese that is uh, came from S two D five that is uh, like uh, seven electrons. Outermost electrons are seven. Okay. Now carbonyls. So five carbonyls are there. Five twos are ten electrons. Now in neutral methods, uh, hydrogen. Alkyls, okay. So alkyls, all the groups are one electron donor in neutral method. So the alkyl group, methyl group is only one electron donor. One ones are one electron. Totally, how many electrons? Seven plus ten, seventeen plus one, eighteen electron. So it obeys the eighteen electron complex. So this is the first method. That is the neutral method. Now let us calculate the oxidation method. This is the second method. Okay. So method number two. Now I'll explain very simple manner. So oxidation method is nothing but uh, like a uh, so the oxidation state of the complex which is subtracted from the uh, like metal then we will calculate the those oxidation method simply if a complex it having the some oxidation state uh, the some oxidation state so those oxidation state uh, the number of oxidation state is equivalence which is subtracted from the metal outermost shell then calculated as usually calculated as usually now here mn is in the form of a plus 1 oxidation state so plus one means one electron lost from the their outermost shell. So manganese is a S two D five that is a seven electrons. So among the seven electron, one electron lost from the manganese. Then M N plus one is a six electron donor only. Six electron, not the seven electron. So that is the oxidation method. Now again five carbonyls are there. Five twos are as usually five twos are ten electrons. Okay. So in both the methods, carbonyl is a two electron donor. Now here uh, methyl group. So if manganese is plus one, then methyl appears as minus. So like a uh, methyl appears as a minus. The minus that means so uh, it acts as a two electron donor. Okay. So alkyl group is in the form of uh, R minus. It acts as a two electron donor according to the our previous video. Okay. So now here uh, six plus ten, sixteen, sixteen plus two, eighteen electrons. So both the methods, both the methods, we will get the like similar kind of result. Similar kind of result, but uh, among these two, first one is better one. First one is better one for the simplification of eighteen electron rule. Okay. Now let us discuss the some other examples in both the methods for for sake of simplicity, for sake of better understanding. Now I'll explain some more examples in both the methods. Now let's move on to the third one. So that is a like a eta phi, eta phi C phi H phi. iron co taken twice cl so this is the third one okay now let us calculate both both the methods so the first method is a neutral one first method is neutral one so now here iron so the neutral method means s2 d6 eight electron donor how many electrons eight electron donor so here like neutral ligands are there carbonyls are neutral ligands so two carbonyls are there two twos are four electron so it contributes four electron from two carbonyl compounds now so chlorine is there so that chlorine halogen allied uh, according to our previous discussion so chlorine in a neutral method only one electron donor only one electron donor now here c5 h5 so in neutral method whatever the heptacity is present uh, that much of electrons are contributed so now the heptacity is 5 eta 5 C phi H phi. Now I will give very simple trick. So in neutral method, whatever the heptacity, the how much of heptacity is present over the eta power n, so that that much of electrons, that much of electrons are contributed to metal atom or to contributed to eighteen electron rule. Here, here eta phi is there. That's why it is a phi electrons are considered. Okay, eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus one, thirteen. Thirteen plus five, eighteen electrons. So according to the neutral method, it it follows the eighteen electron rule. Now what about oxidation state method? So here both are the same. Both are the same. Here, like a uh, Fe, Cp, CO taken twice, Cl. This is the complex. So X is the iron. We don't know the like oxidation state. Now Cp formal charge is minus one. We know that C5H5 minus. That is cyclopentadienyl anion. 
so the that anion is nothing but only minus one charge okay so the minus one so carbonyl is a neutral that's why it is zero so chlorine present as chlorine like a chloride ion that is one minus one charge okay so now there is no charge that's why it is equal to the zero so x minus one plus a two into zero zero minus one is equal to zero so x minus two is equal to zero x is equal to plus two so here oxidation state of a metal is plus two oxidation state of metal is plus 2 so if oxidation state of metal is plus 2 then iron plus 2 only 6 electrons generally iron is 8 electrons s2d6 but here it present as plus 2 that's why it calculated only 6 electrons okay now next one is a cp so in case of oxidation state method so that is the c5h5 minus so one minus is two electrons another double bond is two electrons another double bond is two electrons totally six electrons so cp it contributes a six electrons if it is a neutral method five electrons but in oxidation state method that is a six electrons if oxidation state is a like oxidation state is a uh, eliminated from the outermost electronic cell so then cp act as a six electron donor now what about co co is a two of co are there two two are four electrons again chlorine so chlorine present as a chloride that means one into two electrons two electrons so six plus six or twelve twelve plus four sixteen sixteen plus two eighteen electron donor so both the methods we will get the like similar result but method one is very simple method one is very simple now let's move on to the another one so some like now let us um, solve the problems in quicker okay now the fourth example is ferrocene so these are the very simple examples now let's look at a fourth one that is ferrocene we know that uh, uh, like a very simple molecule ferrocene fe cp taken twice okay so this is the complex okay this is the complex now the general method so fe cp taken twice so if iron oxidation state iron uh, outermost electron is eight electrons so cp so cp that is eta phi cp it is eta phi cp okay so generally neutral method eta phi the whatever the hepacity is that that much of electrons are contributed two phi are 10 electrons so 10 plus 8 18 electrons this is the neutral method but what about oxidation state method so in case of oxidation state method fe cp so here each cp is minus one charge so that means iron has the plus two charge okay one uh, one cp is one minus one so then another cp is also minus one here minus one minus one so both will shift it right side then it will get the plus two oxidation state so iron is in the form of plus two so if iron is in the form of plus two what about uh, outermost valence electronic shell after the after the uh, subtraction of those plus two electrons so here only six electrons so cp in oxidation state cp minus is a six electron donor so two cp minus are there so that is a uh, another six more electrons so three six are 18 electrons so ferrocene it follows the 18 electron so first four examples it will base 18 electron group 18 electron group now let's move on to the fifth and the sixth both are similar examples not the same but uh, uh, both are similar type of examples now let's move on to the only one method so neutral method is better one so that's why i'll go through the like neutral method so the fifth example fifth example h mn co5 times okay now manganese is a seven electron donor s2 d5 s2 d5 then what about a co so co is five electron donor co is five electron uh, sorry so five co's are there so each co is a two electron donor so five twos are ten electrons so now hydrogen is one electron donor that is one electron so totally seven plus ten seventeen seventeen plus one 18 electrons it is also obvious the 18 electron rule sometimes the same complex uh, which is given in the another form like uh, they are given the mn co5 times mn co5 times so mn co5 minus okay so now uh, in this case of uh, mn co5 minus uh, so neutral method uh, so manganese is a seven electron donor like a uh, carbonyl is five carbonyls are there five twos are seven, seven, 10 electrons now the negative charge if negative charge is present no doubt if negative charge is present on the complex so then added the that much of electron okay if one negative charge is there one electron added if two uh, two, uh, two negative charge is there so added to two electrons if positive charge is there no doubt if positive charge is there then subtracted the that much of electrons from total electron count 
from total electron count if negative is there so it is it is going to be added so if positive is there it is going to be eliminated okay if one negative charge is there so that's why you have plus one so seven plus ten seventeen seventeen plus one eighteen electrons so these much of like these kind of negative charged these kind of negative charged electrons are sometimes it is difficult to calculate the like oxidation state method that's why I like i'll explain the oxidation state method also okay now here um, manganese is in the form of plus one oxidation state that means it's six electrons so sevo five twos are ten electrons now it it is uh, nothing is there that means a negative charge so in simply negative charge is nothing but two electron donor two electron donor okay simply if instead of negative we will substitute the h that is uh, appeared as h minus so h minus is also two electron donor so generally negative charge is present a neutral method it is added as a single electron but in case of oxidation state uh, so that negative charge is equal is equivalent of two electrons okay so that is the like uh, major difference 18 electrons okay that is the major difference so here in case of a normal neutral method so the negative charge if one negative is there one electron only added if two negatives is there two negative uh, two electrons only added but uh, in oxidation state method one electron one negative charge is equal to the two electrons a pair of electrons so this is the fifth example now let's move on to the sixth example so that is a uh, hco hco co4 okay so co is nine electron donor four carbonyls are there four twos are eight electrons okay now one hydrogen one ones are one electron so totally nine plus eight seventeen seventeen plus one seventeen like eighteen electron sorry eighteen electron donor now what about a seventh example so that is fe co four times pph3 pph3 this is the single ligand this is the single ligand so iron is this eight electron donor so iron is the eight electron donor again co four co's are there four twos are eight electrons okay now pph3 this is the past fine ligand so past fine ligand it having the one pair of electron so that means it is also can it contributes to the two electrons only so that's why eight plus eight sixteen sixteen plus two eighteen electrons so this is the seventh example now in case of eighth example so that is eta three cp and eta three c cp eta five cp f e only one carbon monoxide so in neutral method whatever the apacity is present uh, that much of electrons only contributed so iron is eight electron donor so eta 3 cp that is a three electron donor so eta 5 cp that is five electron donor so carbonyl is present two electron donor eight plus three eleven eleven plus five sixteen sixteen plus two eighteen electron donor so this is the eighth example now in case of ninth example very simply we have used co4 power minus two Okay, in neutral method, iron is eight electron donor. So carbonyl is four carbonyls are there. So four to zero, eight eight electrons. Now two negative charges are there. This is the neutral method. In case of a neutral method, can you clearly note that in case of a neutral method, the number of negative charges are added. That much of electrons should be added. So if number of positive charges is there, that much of electrons should be eliminated. Okay, but in case of oxidation state, one negative charge is equal to the pair of electron. So one negative or two negative charges is equal to the four four electrons. That is the oxidation state method. So but this is the neutral method. So minus two means two electrons should be added. Eight plus eight, sixteen, sixteen plus two, eighteen electrons. Okay, so this is the ninth example. This is the ninth example. Almost all first nine examples follows the eight in electron rule. It follows eight in electron rule. Now, so tenth example. So that is ruthenium CO five times PF three. So the old positive charge, old positive charge. So now we know that ruthenium. Iron ruthenium osmium, iron ruthenium osmium. We know that so these two existed the plus eight oxidation states also. Okay, that is the most oxidation state in transition metals. So ruthenium is eight electron donor. Okay, so eight electron outermost electrons is eight. So now CO five CO's are there. Five twos are ten electrons. Now PF three. Okay, so like uh, ruthenium, PF three. PF three is nothing but two electron donor. So one twos are two electrons. Okay, so now 
one positive charge is there if one positive charge is there then subtracted the one electron then subtracted the one electron i think uh, it is clear okay so ruthenium is eight electron donor so five carbonyls are there five carbonyls means 10 electrons totally 18 electrons if p of three is there p of three is an example of two electron donor so totally here 20 electrons but one positive charge is there so then subtracted the one positive charge now we will get the 19 electrons okay so 8 plus 10 18 18 plus 2 20 20 minus 1 19 electrons so if sometimes if they are given in the plus 2 oxidation state so here it is a subtracted to 2 electrons now we will get the 18 electrons if plus 2 is there if plus 2 is there so now we will get the 18 electrons now let us like discuss the so last five examples that is a uh, like a structure is different not at all difficult okay so different is uh, deviated from the difficult okay so uh, those structures are different but not the difficult now let's look at uh, problem number 11 so i think it is clear so uh, 1 to 10 all uh, obeys the 18 electron rule okay now let's look at uh, 11 12 13 14 okay now so 11 so that is the complex mo MO, CP, bent nitrosyl, C3H4, C3H5, C3H5, C3H5. So now in generally neutral method, so neutral method, so I, molybdenum, molybdenum comes from, came from like a chromium, a chromium series that is a S1, D5, 6 electron donor. Okay, so if it is the neutral method, so molybdenum is a 6 electron donor, so then this is the CP, 1 CP is there, 5 electron donor. So neutrally CP is a 5 electron donor. So then it is a, like a eta 3 complex. Eta 3 C3HA5. Eta 3 C3HA5. So that is the 3 electron donor. If 2 eta 3s are there, that's why 6 electrons are there. 6 electron donor. So now again, so bent nitrosyl is present. Bent nitrosyl. So that bent nitrosyl is the like only 1 electron donor. So if linear nitrosyl is there, that is a 3 electron donor. Bent nitrosyl is only 1 electron donor. Okay. So then 6 plus 5. 11, 11 plus 6, 17, 17 plus 1, 18 electron donor. So this is the neutral method. Now what about oxidation state method? So in case of oxidation state method, so in case of oxidation state method, so molybdenum is a simple one. So here it is the like a negative charge. So these two are contributed like this. So here also negative charge. These two are contributed like this. So bent nitrosyl, so the formal charge of bent nitrosyl is minus 1. Now, so CP, CP charge is also negative. Okay, so this is the like a total overall contribution. So negative. Okay, so now here one negative, one negative, one negative. So here one negative. So this is the compound. Okay, so that means uh, molybdenum, it having the minus 4, whenever the minus 4 shifted to the right side, then it becomes a plus 4. So molybdenum in plus 4 oxidation state, plus 4 oxidation state. If molybdenum is uh, 6 electrons, among the 6 electrons, 4 electrons is eliminated. Now we will get the only 2 electrons. Okay, so then it is a C3H5 minus. So here 2 electrons, here 2 electrons. So that means uh, 4 electron donor. So 2 4 electron donor are there. So C3H5 minus. So 2 are there, 2 4 are 8 electrons. Okay, now it is a CP minus. So CP minus is a 6 electron donor. CP minus is 6 electron donor. Now what about a bent nitrosyl? So the bent nitrosyl in oxidation state method is 2 electron donor. Now 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. 16 plus 2 18 electrons. So the both the methods we will get the same result. But the methodology to solve the problem methodology is different. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's look at uh, problem number 11. Problem number 11. A very simple one. Okay. Now here. Uh, one negative that is a uh, bent one so here it is the positive so that is the like uh, so this is the negative for bent molecule plus one for the like uh, nitrosyl linear nitrosyl molecule so here also minus one minus one for the cp okay now let's calculate the oxidation state method sometimes uh, both are the interesting okay now ma uh, molybdenum here minus one minus one minus one minus three here plus one that means uh, minus two whenever that minus two will shift it to the right side then it becomes a plus two so molybdenum plus two so in case of molybdenum plus two so that is a four electron donor four electron donor now here c3 h5 minus that indicates c3 h5 minus in case of uh, like uh, oxidation state method it is a four electron donor so cp six electron donor so bent nitrosyl so two electron donor so general nitrosyl two electron donor okay now let's calculate four plus four eight eight plus six 14 14 plus two 
16, 16 plus 2, like that, 18 electron donor. This is 18 electron donor. Both the methods will get the same result. Okay. Now let's look at a normal method. So molybdenum 6 electron donor, CP 5 electron donor. Okay. Now eta 3, 3 electron donor. Now general nitrosyl 3 electron donor. Bent nitrosyl, bent nitrosyl 1 electron donor. 6 plus 5, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 3, 17, 17 plus 1, 18 electrons. So finally we will get the similar type, similar type of electrons. Now let's look at uh, problem number 13 that is. Uh, Grubbs catalysis reagent. Okay, so now ruthenium. So ruthenium, it came uh, ruthenium complex. So ruthenium came from iron. So that means a uh, eight electron donor. Ruthenium is eight electron donor. Now chlorines are in neutral method. Okay, so now in neutral method, chlorine is one electron donor. So two chlorines are there. Two ones are two electrons. Two chlorines are there. Two ones are two electrons. Now what about a uh, PCY3? So that means a uh, PCY3 means a uh, here cyclohexyl group. Cyclohexyl group. Okay, so this is the like a uh, three cyclohexyl groups uh, is nothing but PCY3. So whatever the group is present, but phosphorus it having only one pair of electrons. So that means here two electron donor from one phosphorus or two electron donor from another PCY3. So totally PCY3 is two are there. So two threes are sorry two twos are four four electrons. Two twos are four electrons. Now what about carbon? Okay, now I'll explain the like a carbine method also. Okay, carbine is a two electron donor, carbine is a three electron donor. Okay, carbine is a two electron donor. Now let's calculate eight plus two, ten, ten plus four, fourteen, fourteen plus two, sixteen electron. Okay, so among the all the examples, this one cannot obey the eighteen electron. Group. So sixteen electron only. That's why I'll, I'll make the uh, red in the mark. That's why I'll make the red in the mark. Okay, now so this is the sixteen electron donor in neutral method. So just practice uh, in oxidation state method whether it is correct or not. Okay. Now the fourteenth example that is a uh, titanium. So that is very interesting example. So these kind of structures are given. So now here some of the CP ligands uh, which contributes a uh, total five carbon atoms. Here these two contributes a total five carbon atoms that indicates this is the eta five complex. Okay, now here only one electron is contributed, so that's why it is eta 1 complex, eta 1 complex. So now let's calculate both the neutral and oxidation state method. So in case of neutral method, so titanium, so it is the 4, the S2D2, that indicates a 4 electron donor. Okay, so not donor, so it has the outermost 4 electron, not sorry, metals are not donor. So it has the outermost 4 electrons, okay, so titanium is a 4 electrons. Okay, now in case of CP, so eta 5 CP, 2 eta 5 CPs are there, then 10 electrons. Now eta 1 CP, 2 eta 1 CPs are there, 2 electrons. So here totally 16 electrons, totally 16 electrons. So some of the students, they are confused with oxidation state method. So now here, whatever the aptacity, here it is minus 1, here minus 1, here minus 1, here minus 1. So totally 4 minus 4, whenever it is shifted to the right side, then it gets, uh, it becomes a plus 4. So here it existed as a titanium plus 4. So in, uh, in case of titanium plus 4, yes to D2, that means the 4 electrons are eliminated. Here only 0 electrons, nothing is there. Okay. So in case of uh, eta 5 CP, so that means CP minus 6 electron donor. So 2, 6 are 12 electrons. Now in case of eta 1, so eta 1 CP minus that indicates a 2 electron donor. So 2 metal, 2 CPs are there. That's why 2 plus 2, 4 electrons. Okay. 6 plus 6, 12 electrons. 12 plus 2, 14. 14 plus 2, 16 electrons. Whatever the method, we will get the similar kind of result. Now the final most example. So very interesting examples. These are uh, very interesting examples from like uh, organometallic complexes so 15th example so ruthenium like a uh, ruthenium pph3 pph3 so now here so this is the like a uh, eta 3 complex co overall is the positive charge overall is the positive charge now let's calculate the neutral method whatever the method so but don't confuse with uh, like a uh, two methods of uh, merging Okay, so in case of a neutral method, ruthenium, it is came from iron, that means 8 electron donor. So 1 CO is there, 2 electron donor. Again, 2 PPH3 are there. So each PPH3 is a 3 electron donor. So then 2 twos are 4 electrons. Now here, eta 3 complex. So here, eta 3 complex. Eta 3 complex, that indicates a 3 electron donor. 
okay so this is the in complex but outside it having the one positive charge if positive charge is there in neutral method so it is eliminated by one electron okay so one positive charge that is a minus one okay eight plus two ten electrons ten plus four fourteen electrons fourteen plus three fourteen plus three seventeen electrons seventeen minus one sixteen electrons. So here it will base the 16 electron donor. So both the methods we will get the similar kind of result. Both the methods we will get a similar kind of results. So these are the very interesting examples. Okay. If it is, if it is possible, now I'll make the another video on uh, like uh, 18 electron rule. So that video contains uh, different different methods. Okay. Sometimes they are given in the complex. Then find the capacity of the compounds. Again, another method. So they they are uh, like hide the metal at metal atom. So they are given the complex. It obeys the 18 electron rule. Then find the metal atom. So what is the suitable metal? So that kind of questions are there. Okay. So those kind of questions are discussed in the next problem. If it is possible, I'll make the another video on the previous year CSCR gate uh, like uh, uh, jump questions. Uh, previous year CSCR gate and local set exam also. Okay. So that's all for this video. Okay. It contains uh, more than 15 problems. 15 problems okay and now if you have the, any doubt uh, please mention in the comment box thank you so much for watching